346.
church that I got saved last week or a couple weeks ago, I guess, for a singing on Sunday night. And I was thinking when I was sitting in that service, by man's standards, if you had a score book and you looked at my life from the time I got saved in 87 or 88 there to now, boy, by man's standards, I'd, I'd be in trouble. Then I thought about another book where my name was written. By, by God's standards, thanks Amen. to the blood of Jesus, Amen. my score looks pretty good. Amen. Nothing I've done or nothing that anybody here has done, but the blood of Jesus evened up a score for me. And I'm so thankful for that. And I, I can say today that I know my name is written there and more than anything in this world. I'm so thankful for that, that my name is written there. Good to have everybody with us this morning. Good to see our visitors. I see several people that I hadn't seen before, and we want to welcome you and make sure you feel welcome. If you uh, leave not feeling welcome, we can blame it on maybe the deacon's fault or something. If, if not, the Sunday school superintendent will be who made you feel welcome. But now, does anybody have a, a special song or testimony this morning before we turn Kevin loose? Good service. That's right. Does anybody else have a testimony or special song or anything for the Lord? That's right. Definitely a blessing to the families when they come in and eat. Anybody else have a, a testimony or word? Anybody else have a word for the Lord?
certainly good to us. I believe he really enjoys hearing from us on, when, we, when we thank him for what he's done. Anybody else have a testimony? I hate to say it again, but is there any other testimonies? I really enjoy hearing them. We all have that testimony that Amy had. Just that simple testimony that they please God. Please God, that's right. Yes, we can. If you don't have anything to be thankful for this morning, just study, go back in your mind just a little bit before you was saved and think of what you deserve and what you're getting. For me, I know I, know I say that a lot and every time I tear up, and but boy, I know what I deserve versus what I'm getting and it's I'm so thankful for it. Somebody's going to have to sing this besides me. Who's going to?
Anybody else have a testimony now for the Lord? Sweet spirit this morning. Kevin, I'm going to turn it over to you now. I feel like it's time. Amen. It's good to be here, ain't it? It's good to come to church and feel the presence of God, and that's what it's about, just letting God have His way and Spirit of God and, and people coming to the altar and getting what they need. That's what it's about, man. Uh, we all have needs and we all have things that may be uh, troubling us and our concerns. And I've said this for years. If it's a concern to you, it's a concern to God. He needs to hear about it and He needs to hear from you. It's good for people to pray for you, but I'm glad we can pray too, can't we? We can come before the throne room. Jesus has made it possible when He cried it is finished on the cross of Calvary, the veil in the temple was rent in twain. And the Bible says that we've got access now to the throne of grace. We don't have to go to a priest anymore because Jesus has become our high priest. You can bring all your cares to Him. You don't have to come to a person and, and, and talk to them, but you, you can come to, right straight to the throne room of God. Amen. Man, ain't you glad of that? We've got access today. You can get your need met today, and we can get help. Um, I, I was sitting there thinking of the, of the Scripture the, when, when the uh, children of Israel was was coming out of Egypt, and they were, they were going across the Red Sea, fixing to, and they, they turned back, and they saw Pharaoh and his army uh, coming up uh, behind them, and, and they, they thought they were going to die, and they began to complain. They began to murmur, and Moses spoke to the Lord. He said, Lord, they, they're, they're, what, what shall we do? And the Lord said, tell the people to go forward. And he said, stand still. Moses, Moses got the people together and he said, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And basically what he was saying, just be still and just pay attention because God's getting ready to do something great. Amen. And God did. He parted the waters of the Red Sea and they walked over on dry ground. What, what, a, what a miracle that was. And I believe that... Uh, the, the songs that's being sung, the testimonies, people just thanking God. I believe it's a good time this morning for us to just be still and see the salvation of the Lord. Just begin to think about what God has done, what things we know that He's done for us. Much less, uh, there's other things that God's done for me and you uh, that we're not even aware of. We wasn't maybe aware of the drunk driver that we passed on the road last night, but God let us pass safely. God let them go uh, home safely, and God let us go home safely. Things that we're not even aware of that God is doing. But boy, ain't it good to think about the things that we are aware of that we do know that God has done, that God's answered prayer for us. 
I believe it's a good time this morning for us just to stand still and just be still this morning and just think about what God has already done, what He's kept you from, what God is, is working out. He's made ways when there wasn't no way. A lot of us has had cancer, but we don't have cancer this morning. Amen. Uh, some of us has had other sicknesses, but God, is, God has brought us through that, right? Amen. It's a good time to remember when you're standing still, you're paying attention. And I think when we're paying attention, we're aware of what God is doing. I believe that the children of Israel, they weren't, they weren't thinking that God had miraculously delivered them out of Egypt. The night before, I went when He said, Take the blood and put it upon the doorpost and upon the lintel. And when I see the blood, I'll pass over you. That right there was, was enough proof within itself. Wouldn't it? But they were easily forgetful of what God was doing. They passed the, the, on, over on the dry ground on the Red Sea. You read the Word of God and how they got over there. And, and then they was, they was thirsty. They were hungry. They started complaining. And they were easily forgetful of what God had already done. But I believe it's, it's very important that we stand still. And when we're standing still, we're paying attention, we're thinking, we're aware of what God is doing. He said in Psalms 46, Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. I've said a lot here lately, when you know you're saved, that will get you through everything that you face. Through life, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that we, we question. There's a lot of things in life that we, we go back over and we think, well, 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 what if this or what if that? But when you know that you're saved, you know you belong to the Lord and the Holy Spirit of God is in, in your heart and you know that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life that we sang about. Man, you've got ground to stand on when all, everything else is uncertain. But that one thing, you know you're certain. I believe that's just what we're doing then. It's just standing still and knowing that He's God. Job said this. Job, uh, Job began to, uh, threw out all the things he didn't understand. Why the bad things were happening to him. He didn't understand why his possessions was gone, why his children were gone, and, and, and his friends wouldn't know help either, was they? They were saying, well, Job, you've bound to done something. Why don't you just go ahead and confess it? And there was a lot of confusion, but Job rose up and he said, The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. He, and he said another thing there. He said, I know my Redeemer liveth, and I'll see him in the latter days. He didn't say, I think my Redeemer liveth. He said, I know my Redeemer liveth. And I'm glad that we can know that we're his and he's ours today. That's something good. Just stand still and think about, ain't it? Just be still today. Just be still. Sometimes... I believe when we're not still, we're trying to figure it out. When we're not still, we're trying to do, we're trying to work things out, but it ain't getting any better. It's just a good time to be still. Just stand still. Don't make a decision. To, uh, uh, allow God just to just to move. Allow God. It, sometimes I believe we try to make things happen when it ain't meant for it to happen. We try to make things fit in our life that ain't supposed to be there. But it's a good time just to stand still and allow God to do what He has always done. And let me say, He's the master of everything. He's the master of it. He, he knows everything. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. The author, He knows, he, he knows the way things are to be, right? And he's the finisher. He started this thing and he's going to finish this thing. And all we need to know, 
is we belong to Him. When you know you're saved, you know that everything, in, you know, I begin to think about, uh, 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 we, we think about Thanksgiving's coming up, and we think about being thankful, and I don't believe we need to wait till Thanksgiving to start being thankful of what we're, God's already done, and we ought to be thankful every day. Uh, you know, the, the, it says uh, in Psalms 100, um, this ain't what, got, what I studied on, but it's okay. Uh, messages don't spoil, they keep, don't they? What God was laid on her heart. But Psalms 100 said, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I believe when we're making a joyful noise unto the Lord, we're standing. We're, we're, we're standing still and we're seeing the salvation of the Lord. When your mind is focused upon what God is doing and what God has done in your life, I believe you're making a joyful noise. Man. But when our minds is full of clutter and a lot of things, I wonder if he is receiving a joyful, is he's hearing a joyful noise. It says, Sir, they said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Are you glad you saved today? Are you glad to tell somebody about Jesus? Are you serving God with gladness? Someone already said, Miss Robin, we didn't have to come to church today. We got to come to church today. And with that outlook, we are serving the Lord with gladness. Amen. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I mean, what a privilege it is to come to God's house to dwell with His people, but also feel what we're feeling this morning. It's a good place to be because God's here, right? The Spirit of God is here, right? Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. I'm still talking about standing still and seeing the salvation of the Lord. Know ye that the Lord, He is God. That's big G God, man. There's all kinds of little G gods, but there's only one big G God. Man, that's the God of heaven. All right. Know ye that the Lord, He is God, and it is He that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. This goes right hand in hand. I'm, I'm glad God knows what He's doing this morning. He knows what we need to hear. J, uh, J.P. spoke about the Lord being our great shepherd. We are His people. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Boy, ain't that good to know you're standing still in his pasture this morning. He's leading you beside the still waters. and He's, a, he's a taking you to green pastures. Now, let's think about that just a minute. How he's took you to green pastures. And he's, he, he's provided for, for all of us, hasn't he? How many times something has maybe fell through, maybe a job, you've lost your job, but God has provided another one. Maybe something has happened that it, it just is just, uh, uh, maybe circumstances has come and you didn't know how to make ends meet, but God has always provided. Amen. Amen. He's leading you to green pastures. And that's a promise. David said, I was young and now I'm old. Never have I seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. That's because God's leading us to green pastures. We're well fed when we're one of his sheep, ain't we? We're well fed. I have no complaints today that I've been, I've been malnourished or that God's let me down. God has always provided for me. And he's always provided for you if you'll stand still. And see the salvation of God. I believe sometimes we don't acknowledge our blessings like we should. Because we're not standing still. It's good to stand still every morning. It's good to get up and pray. And read your Bible and stand still a little while. And just see the salvation of the Lord to start your day. 
I believe we'll leave with a better frame of mind if we'll be standing still a little longer. Am I making sense? We're too busy sometimes. We're not, we're not standing still long enough. But God wants to talk with you. But you've got to be standing still to listen. We got our minds too many directions and a lot of things. We're too busy. And, and we're missing out on the good things of God. And we're missing out on some good honey of life if we'll just stand still. A lot of times we, 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 we've got our agenda, but it's not God's agenda. And we're missing out on the good things of God. And we, we run out. We run out of fuel and we say, well, what's wrong? It's nothing that's wrong with God. It's what's wrong with us. Man, it says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And to his courts were praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. <laughs> I say amen to that. Enter to his gates with thanksgiving. You know, we, it's very important that we, that we come to the house of God with thanksgiving. Being thankful. God is worthy of all of our praise, ain't he? Worthy of all of our praise. It says, uh, and, and, and be thankful unto Him and bless His name. For the Lord is good, His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. And the Lord is worthy of our praise. But sometimes He don't receive the blessings and the, and the praise that we, he, he deserves is because we're not standing. We're not standing still. Hard to talk to somebody when they're not standing still. When they're walking around, it's hard to talk to them. When they're not looking at you, when they're not focused on you, and they're walking around, it's hard to talk to that person. But when they're still, it's easy to talk to them. God wants to talk to you today. God won't, but, but you got to be still. And I believe that in our life, that when, the, when we were needing an answer, and we don't have an answer, it's not a time to search and, and be, be wandering around. It's a time to be still and know that He's God. Amen. Be still and listen. Just be still and see the salvation of the Lord. When they got out there, they, they didn't really... They didn't know. They, they thought they were going to die. They thought Pharaoh is coming out here. The Red Sea, we're, 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 you know, we're, we're, we're done for. But God told them to go forward. Don't go backwards. Don't give up. Go forward. Moses turned around and he said, Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. God's getting ready to move. God's getting ready to deliver. And I believe today that God just give us a reminder, just stand still. Stand still. That thought come to my mind was, was praying earlier. Thought, just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Every head bowed and every eye closed. Miss Jane ain't come to the piano. Think about today what you're facing. Lord, I, I thank you today for your word. And Lord, I trust today, God, you have you've sent what we needed to hear today and help us to give ear, Lord, to your word. You know every situation, you know every life. There might be somebody here today, God, that's... Uh, Never, never accepted you as their Savior. Lord, I pray that they'd stand still and realize, Lord, that Lord, you love them. And Lord, you, you made a way for them to go to a place called heaven so that they'd, they'd escape a place called hell. I pray today, God, that you would just be with these, God, maybe that's out of your will, that's 
It's not living where they need to be living. Lord, they'd stand still and come to themselves like the prodigal did. And he come to himself and he went back home. And he got forgiveness. Lord, help us, I pray. If there be one here today, God, that's discouraged and feels like, that Lord, they're about to crumble beneath the load, just remind them today to stand still. To stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Maybe they feel like nobody cares anymore. Nobody loves them. God help them, Lord, to stand still and realize no greater love hath a man than this. And a man has laid down his life for his friends. Lord, nobody loves us like you do, Lord. Help us to stand still and Feel your big loving arms wrap around us and give us that peace that passes all understanding. That big bear hug from heaven. God help us today to stand still. Bless your name, Lord. Thank you today, God, from the manna from above today, God, that has fed us. Just with a reminder, stand still. We love you, Lord. We thank you. And Lord, if he's anyone today needs help, needs to get things, needs to come talk to you, get some things right, get some things straightened up, get some help, whatever the need is, help them to come in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Is it ever head bows is continue bad? I want you to come today. I believe God wants to help somebody. I believe that with all my heart. God wants to help somebody. If you let him. He's been trying to help you, but you won't stand still. He's been trying to get your attention. But and he will help you if you let him. God will help you if you let him. <coughs> he won't force himself on you but he'll, he'll help you he'll give you what you need today if you'll let him anyone today need to come do business with the Lord today this altar's not just for lost people it's for saved alike I'm glad we can get what we need today if we just Let's be still. Amen. You may lift your head. I've noticed this. The more thankful I am, the more content I am. The more content you'll be, the more that you're just standing still and just